Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction and we're diving back into my queen, my goddess, my end all be all, the one, the only Miss Kelly Clarkson as she performs another track from her album Chemistry Live at the Belasco Theater. We're looking at the performance of Red Flag Collector. I just finished reacting to the recorded track on the album and y'all, this song is so damn catchy just like favorite kind of high I, I i feel like the this and favorite kind of high could just be so big on the radio if they were getting that push and i don't know if they are but i hope that they do because i need people outside of my kelly clarkson fan base to also know the glory that is kelly clarkson and her music um but yes we're gonna check out this live performance and i'm just i'm so ready i'm so ready so let's let's, let's dive on in and do the thing all right, this next song, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, Mama was very angry. <laughs> I noticed. I, and the next two songs, really. Um, but this song in particular, I just, man. Uh, so, divorce, okay? So, things get said that you are like, what? Like, you're, you know, you're just, you're just, you just get caught off guard and you're like, I need to write a song <laughs> or I'm going to set my house on fire. <laughs> so I feel like the first one's healthier. <laughs> um, I mean, plus she had a nice house. So, so. anyway, um, you can tell by the title, it's called Red Flag Collector. So. Mm -hmm. Again, I love this old Wild Wild West kind of vibe. You better give him this, this spot, yes. And then the electric guitar comes in, yes. You can have the towels. You can take my money. Drag my name around town. I don't mind, I changed it anyway. They say the worst parts of someone come out to play when shit goes wrong. So shit must hit the fan with you all day. She sounds so good. Sure, you can have the towels. Amen, baby. Play these drums, baby. Yes, I love these trumpets. And I love how many background vocals she has from all around the stage. Come on, Jason. Yes, 
just like pretty much all the other tracks from Chemistry that I've reacted to at Belasco Theater. It is even better hearing it live. Because, like, yes, the album track is fantastic, but there's just something about seeing her in this element that just feels so damn good. Like, I've been saying in all the live performances I've reacted to recently, she just feels so comfortable. She sounds so comfortable with these performances. And it's not like what she's singing is any easier than what she's recorded in the past, but she just sounds so at ease and so at peace and comfortable. She just, mm, it's, I love it. And I love seeing her in this particular environment because it's, it's songs that nobody has heard yet outside. Well, at that particular point in time, nobody's heard them outside of her, you know, her and her band. And it feels like all these little introductions she's doing, like, okay, this next song, it, I was really, really mad, blah, blah, blah. And like all the, just the little, the little story time we're having beforehand, the little anecdotes. Like, it feels like she's just in a room with her friends. She's in a room with her peers, with her people. She's in a room with people who get her, who love her and support her. And she's just feeding off of that love and that support so like she's like okay this next song i was really really mad and we're like you know what girl we get that we're totally same blah 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 and you know what i could i could either write a song or i could set my house on fire girl don't set the house on fire it, it's a nice house house write yourself a song like it just feels like this sort of understood conversation that's happening between her and the audience and it just it's nice to see her in that sort of just positive supportive environment especially having gone through what she went through with the divorce and all that kind of stuff like it's she needs that support now obviously she has that support system personally her close friends and whatnot but like it's nice for me as a fan to see her being embraced by such a large group of people um so i love these velasco concert um performances because that's the vibe i'm getting it feels very much like family like just a big extended family all there just to bask in the glory that is kelly clarkson's voice and just take in these songs take in this music take in the artistry and just live 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 so yes outside of me just loving seeing her interactions with the people the vocals are everything everything her voice is just so damn strong it it's always been a strong voice but it just feels so damn easy for her right now and it is so remarkable to me because I feel like she's got double or triple the workload now than she had in past albums so the fact that she's got so much more on her plate and she's using her voice so much more but her voice just sounds so incredibly strong all the damn time it's like mama I don't know I don't know what witchcraft you have cast I don't know who who you sacrificed the goat to I don't know what what you did what what I don't know I don't know what kind of witchcraft you got going on but please share your spells with me because I'm over here waking up feeling like death this morning feeling like I was out at a smoky bar singing all kinds of karaoke blah 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 except I didn't have any of that fun I didn't go to any kind of karaoke I just went to bed early so like please share share with me mom give, give me give me give me your secrets um but she sounds so damn good so damn good these upper chest belts are just so free and full they are, oh god um, I love her interactions with her band, her background singers. I love how we always get features. She knows she knows the value of having good background singers, a great band, but she also knows the value of featuring them because she knows that, yes, she could just get up here and sing to a track and it'd be fantastic, but she has all of these people, all these moving pieces that are making it just that little bit extra special. And since they're helping to make her concert, her tour, her performance, just that little bit extra special, she's like, you know what? These people are amazing. Let's give them their time. You have your little spotlight here. You have your little spot here. Let's, why don't you come out of the shadows and come do a little something, sing a little riff with me. What? Like, I just like how she interacts and how she features her her band and her singers because it's it it feels again more like family versus a job it doesn't feel like okay these singers were hired to sing the song and they're on stage and they're performing and then after the performance is done they're just gonna all right bye see you at the next gig or you know this band was just hired to play blah 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 and it's like okay well this is nice bye it feels like no they have conversation they potentially hang out outside of this um they you know they feel like 
like just a really close knit group. So I, I, I love, 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 love. Vocals, everything. Band, everything. Performance, everything. And again, it just makes me more excited to see the concert. So I can't wait till Vegas. Can't wait till Vegas. Can't wait until Vegas. Um, and if you saw my reaction to the track, um, I mentioned there in my thoughts that um, the fabric for the giveaway that I was doing came in yesterday and turned out even better than I expected. So I'm after I'm finished recording this, I'm gonna head to the fabric store to get um, last bits of stuff so that I can make, well, firstly, the apparel that I'm gonna wear for the concert and then use the rest of the fabric to make the cushions for the giveaway. So there's still time to enter the giveaway. If you have not, the link, Future Tofer may have remembered to put a link down in the description. If he didn't remember to put a link to the Google form, just go over to the community tab of my channel and the link to the Google form is there. Or you can go searching through my Twitter feed. The link is in there somewhere as well. Um, or go to my channel update video for June 2023. The link is in that description as well. Uh, but yeah, there's still time to enter. I'll do the drawing for that um, in my update video for July 2023, so end of the month, so you still have time. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications to be notified when all my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. Don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Mwah.